as we look towards tonight uh, and our commission meeting, uh, Commissioner Ash will lead us in the uh, prayer and pledge tonight or have someone do that. Uh, we have uh, three recognitions tonight, but before we have that, as I told you earlier, Commissioner Jerry McFarland will have the historic moment where he will make a presentation about David Wilson, a little bit about the gravesite, may have some family members there, but we'll let you watch and see that tonight and look forward to that program uh, as that comes about. In special recognition tonight, Commissioner Patton will honor the Watertown volleyball team, which had a great season. Commissioner Stafford will honor the, uh, our Superintendent of the Year for the State of Tennessee, which is our own Miss Donna Wright. Uh, congrats also to Mr. Larry Thomason, which was just named to the board of the TSBA um, uh, School Board Association just this last week. And so we honor and thank him for being and serving on that board. Commissioner Venata and Commissioner Dow will honor the late Mr. Gordon Bone in a great presentation tonight as we remember him and his legacy here in Wilson County. Commissioner Bannock will honor the Evermean Evergreen Cloggers. Been around for quite some time and uh, that group of course rec represents us regionally in the southeastern portion of the United States as they travel to several different states and compete on behalf of the of Wilson County, Tennessee and Lebanon. So we thank for, uh, for what they do for us there. Ms. Charity Toombs tonight will give a report on the Expo and its progress as it enters its third year of uh, service at the uh, James E. Ward Ag Center. And we're looking forward to that uh, um, report as well as she has done a tremendous job uh, out there along with Zendel Murphy and the full team as they continue to, to host people that come in and provide different quality of life events for us here in Wilson County. Tonight, there are only five rural resolutions that have come before us. There is some money that will flow through for Jeff Dixon and the drug fund. It's state money that none being asked for new money, but this is money that will come from the state and go directly to services provided by the drug uh, force and the drug team there. Uh, there's a line item transfer in the Ag Center budget. Uh, again, just moving money around, not asking for new money there. They're going to take some data entry fee reserve money and the archive fee reserve money and use that in data service in the circuit court. So they'll ask for that money to be transferred. They will pass a resolution tonight to put the sales tax increase a half a percent going from 925 to 975 back out for a vote uh, in March. We voted on that last year and it fell just by a little bit and so this, they have asked to put that back out again as a revenue source to allow the county commission to do different things and of course to help avoid a property tax. Letters of support for preservation of the Pickett Chapel uh, will be a resolution or not. Again, that's not new money being asked for by the County Commission for Pickett Chapel, but a letter of support so that when they go and apply for grants that they would see that the Wilson County Commission is behind the restoration of Pickett Chapel. They will ask for a resolution tonight for the emergency communication service charge monthly rate, which was $1.16 to go to $1.50. It was set by $1.16 uh, by the state not too many years ago. Before that, it was $1.50, and the state came in and asked them to reduce it to $1.16. But the 911 uh, commission has asked that it move, be moved back to $1.50, and so that resolution tonight will be asking for the uh, legislatures to send that to the legislative body at the state uh, to make that adjustment. So that'll be not something that's done by the county commission, but we're just sending a resolution on behalf of the 911 committee to our state legislatures to ask them to petition the, to the state government to move it back to $1.50. Uh, and then that will conclude our business for tonight. And uh, again, I thank you for watching. I hope you get a chance to watch tonight. Uh, if you ever have an opportunity to come by, please do that as well. And, uh, I will say it again, I wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving and thank you for watching today.